Hey everybody, I'm Robert Schroeder, and I'm going to be talking to you about lag compensation, the little white lie of online games. So what is lag? Lag is a noticeable delay between a player's actions and the server's response. Well, let's talk about the basic online game cycle first. So we start with the player. The player has inputs that change the game state. Those state updates are sent to the server, and they are then processed and sent back to the player. But what causes lag? So round trip time is the first culprit. The physical distance or bandwidth restrictions uh, from the player to the server and the server back to the player causes lag. Uh, server tick or interval rate. Um, the server actually, instead of processing uh, state changes every time a client sends them, they actually set up a collection. And so all clients can send their updates They'll be pooled into this collection, and at a certain rate, once the interval is hit, then processed and sent out to everybody else. We have a buffer as a necessary evil in uh, dealing with the internet, which compensates for lost packets and uh, corrupted data, and at a bare minimum requires two states, a current and a next state. And finally, we have render time. So the game engine itself can actually cause some lag if it's not well optimized. So how do we fix this? One thing we can do is uh, utilize the user datagram protocol, or UDP, for faster data processing. We can reduce the distance and or minimize bottlenecks. Or we can tell some white lies to the player, like whether or not a game is real time or not. It's not. Uh, so for client lag side lag compensation, our first technique is interpolation, which takes place between the current state and the next state in the buffer. But what is interpolation? Interpolation is essentially smoothing transitions between uh, one state to the next. It allows the player's faster frame rate to smooth between states that are tied to network ticks. But this is also only, uh, only involving the game world, not the player's actions. So say we have a current state and a next state. And an enemy is in this location in the current state. In the next state, they've shifted over a little bit. With uh, client-side interpolation, instead of having the enemy pop from one location to the next, the player sees a small transition from one state to the next. Our next technique, though, is extrapolation, which in a sense occurs after the next state. Uh, but what is client-side extrapolation, or dead reckoning? So it's essentially a best guess based on our known states. So like before, say we have a current and next state. And in this case, the enemy is just over here. And our next state there towards the center. What's probably next, if nothing has changed, is the enemy will continue moving, and they'll be over here. But unfortunately, uh, if something changed, we open ourselves up to conflicts between what the client guesses and what the server sends. Discrepancies like this are resolved usually by popping, which is just essentially the enemy teleporting from the guest state to the actual state, or rubber banding, which is a uh, quick and abrupt interpolation from one location to the other, where an enemy will swing from the guest state to the arrived actual state. And finally, we have, oh, uh, also extrapolation only affects the game world as well. But prediction, or user bypass, finally affects the player's experience. And it allows the player's input to be executed immediately on their end. But important events, like kills or deaths in a first-person shooter, are then confirmed once the next state arrives, which occurs here in our cycle. And like I said before, allows the player's experience to be, in, a, in essence, real time. Their experience is, I pressed a button, there was a response. But what actually happens is the update is sent to the server like normal. It lags behind. Things come back. They're confirmed. Uh, and essentially, the difference ends up being that the game world is lagging behind the player's actions. But to the player, it seems like that's perfectly fine. And is there anything else I can do? Well, you can, in, on the server side, trust clients. But beware, there will be hackers here. Uh, the server assumes all clients are correct in this case. This can cause huge uh, consistency issues and allow for cheating. Discrepancies are once again resolved through rubber banding as well as popping. 
And it should really only be used as a last resort for additional speed because any user now with manually, through manual manipula manip manipulation of the data can affect the uh, state of the game or in, uh, actually hack into the server, depending on what is accessible. Finally, though, we have designing around it or pulling the wool over their eyes. So say uh, you're playing a game where you have a unit here and you're indirectly controlling it, like in an RTS like StarCraft. So you want to send a command to send the unit to this location. If you have an animation, like a little uh, arrow popping up, that occurs and has a little animation cycle before the uh, unit is supposed to move, even if there's a little bit of a delay from the time that the user inputs that command to when the unit actually gets uh, started moving, there um, typically won't be any way for the player to notice it. And I hope that that loads, or that's going to be a lame slide. There we go. So this is an example in StarCraft II, um, and I hope that you can try and notice. It's very hard to tell because it's a well-optimized game. But this little ping, this little green uh, arrow ping, is the animation that actually fools your eye into uh, not noticing the fact that the unit actually has a fraction of a second that they do nothing until they start going to that location. So here's a color-coded lag diagram. All things that are in red are things that add to lag and affect the player negatively. And everything in blue is a technique that uh, minimizes lag. Here are a couple of resources that I utilized uh, that I found particularly helpful. And thank you for learning to prevent lag.